Greetings! In this video, we will discuss a cluster chart and its basic settings and functions. So first, a few words about what is a cluster chart. In simple terms, it is the same bar chart where bars consist of clusters. In this case, each cluster displays the volume for each price. For example, on this 15-minute chart, each cluster displays the volume traded at each price. So, we can see the volume profile of each bar. The cluster chart shows us how the volume is distributed within each bar, and based on this, we can make certain conclusions. For example, in this case, we see how the volume was distributed in this bar. We can see the most traded zone the so-called TPO zone. We can see the maximum value of this bar, the so-called POC price, and then the price moves upward from this most traded zone. In this case, we display volume in the clusters. Also, we can show delta, delta percent clusters. Sell buy, Another name of bid ask can also be displayed. Trades is the number of trades at each price. Max tick is the value of the maximal tick for a given price. Ticks shows the number of ticks at each price. There is a double cluster chart. Here we can simultaneously see different types of clusters. For example, sell, buy, or bid ask. Next, let's review the control panel. View DOM button activates the market depth. Next is the hidden ticks display. Further is the symbol field. And contract list. If we put a dash here, the merged contract will automatically load. If we want to analyze a long-term interval, it's commonly used the merged contract. Then choose the tick size and time frame, including seconds time frames and the time frame 2. Time frame 2 is the profile for the selected time interval. For example, you can build profiles for each hour. The settings of this profile you can find in Setup, Studies, TF2 settings. Here we can customize profiles as we need it. In the lower part of the control panel, we select the chart's beginning and end dates. Here we also choose the type of chart. For example, a cluster chart or a chart with a double cluster and cluster type. In the upper right corner, we can choose line type. This is a regular line or an alert line. Setting the alert line at this price will trigger a signal when this price is reached. It is worth mentioning the tools, which are available in the bottom right corner of the chart. This button allows us to zoom in or out of the chart. Next, activation of the crosshair. Button G activates the so-called synchronized crosshair. For example, if you open two charts with the same instrument, you can see the crosshair on the same level and in the same price as on the second chart where this function is activated. Next is the Draw Tool panel. You can also open it with the hotkey Control D. Here we have drawing tools like lines, arrow, and volume profile. There is also a Fibonacci grid. Any element can be activated by a given hotkey. There are also settings available for each tool. You can open them by clicking on the cog wheel or right clicking on the draw tool. Let's move on to the cluster chart settings, 
Setup, Settings, Cluster, Box. Cluster Profile Mode Activation. If we disable it, we will only see clusters in the form of rectangles. A double cluster separator activates a separator in the form of X cross between clusters in the double cluster chart. Profile Scale Settings By selecting Visible Area, the cluster profiles will be built based on the visible area of the chart. If we select All Chart, profiles will be built based on the entire loaded chart. Next is the cluster frame activation and its color. Left-right cluster body is the color of the left and right clusters when the profile mode is off. Left-right cluster profile is the color of left and right clusters when the profile mode is on. Show text is cluster values display. Left-right text color of left-right cluster values. Show sideline. Display the line showing bar opening, closing, and direction. Here you can also adjust line width. Let's activate a single cluster chart, and here we see a line showing the direction of the bar. Buy Cell Leader – Display of the dominant side in a double cluster cell by chart. Buy Cell Leader Color – Colors the dominant side either by or cell. Buy Cell Leader Size Percent – Imbalances between buy and sell. For example, by specifying 50%, we highlight only those sell by values that exceed the opposite value by two times or more. This way, we can look for imbalances between buyers and sellers. Let's activate this function and open a sell by chart. And here you see situations where imbalances are 50% and higher. Max value and right max value. This function highlights the cluster with the maximum value of each bar. Right max value is the same function for the right cluster in a double cluster chart. There are several options. If max value is set as always, then when the maximum volume and volume limit values match, only the frame of the maximum cluster will remain. If we select on, the limit will always take priority. Let's look at an example. We already have volume limits configured. We can see that in situations where the maximum volume is the same as the limits, we do not have the maximum value highlighted. But if max value is set to always, the cluster frame with the maximum value is highlighted. Color settings of maximum volumes are also available. Next comes box chart settings. Let us review the setup menu. Here we have cluster limits setup and limits for a horizontal and vertical histogram. Then we have settings separately for all chart types. Also, here you can find hotkeys settings, particularly hotkeys for trading. Miscellaneous settings. Here we can activate the flow by cell histogram, which displays the number of orders executed by market. Here you can also find the function layout save days, which fixes the number of days you have loaded. The chart will always be loaded with the same number of days. Axis font size adjustment. Value font size. Adjust the font size of the cluster text. Chart right margin. Indent from the price scale. Multi-chart histogram and multi-chart histogram size are applied to the multi-chart mode in the bar chart. We will have a separate video for this chart type. 
DOM Delta Buy, Types of Market Depth Delta. There are two types of DOM Delta. Self displays pulling and stacking of bids and offers, and Mirror Level shows the difference between bid and ask relative to mirror or equidistant levels in order book. Next are the Axis Color Settings. Chart Background Colors. Delta Colors. User Line Text and User Line Back are the default settings for lines. We have a separate video on how to use lines in Volfix. The link is in the description. Contract lines display on the chart and crosshair settings. Now, let's take a look at the last price label settings. Here we can hide last price label, time, and last price line. It is also possible to display the last price label on the chart or the price scale. We go further in the Setup menu. Studies List Here you can set up vertical histogram and horizontal histogram. For more details on Studies List, see the introductory video. The link is in the description. Clone Window function allows duplicating the window with the same settings. So we can open a chart with a new instrument with the same settings. Contract Specification Here we can find all the necessary information about the contract, like the tick size, expiration date, and so on. Delta Type Aggressor or Tick Direct The difference between the types is described in the article. The link is in the description. Desktop is a function for workspace configuration. Video is also available on our channel. Lines. Here we can insert, copy, or delete lines. Symbol lookup is a tool for symbols search. Hide control panel. Hide. Here we can hide big trade display on the chart drawing tools and lines which were copied automatically from other charts and hide POC lines. The video tutorial on setting up POC lines will be in the description. Stop Local Alerts Stops ringing all alerts in this window. Load and Save Snapshots Snapshot is a certain template of the chart. Note that all chart settings are saved automatically after saving a layout in the Market Watch window. Independent mode of the window. It allows having separate settings and limits for the window if we need several windows with the same time frame. There is also a separate video on Market Replay. This is a tool for trading on market history. The tutorial video is on our YouTube channel. Stay on top. The window will be on top of all windows. That's all we have for now. Don't hesitate to get in touch with our technical support with any questions. Thank you for your attention and have a nice day.